What's good, YouTube? The truth here, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video. We gonna be back with content daily. Now for today, man, I don't know if y'all seen last weekend, Tim Zhu versus uh, Ocambo, former Spence opponent. Um, Tim Zhu, he got him out of there really, really quick. It was, um, I would say it was impressive, you know? Um, normally I would, that would be like, okay, I expect you to do that after seeing what Spence did. But if you do watch the Fundora fight with Ocampo, Ocampo showed to be somewhat um, resilient, somewhat, he's able to take a punch. Like he's able to hang in there. It looks like he um, has a little bit to offer at 154, but uh, Tim just walked straight through him. He, he gave him no time to do anything, gave him no time to breathe, just straight jumped on him. And it was a good win, you know? Imp impressive the way he went. I would I would say it was expected, but the way he did it, it was it was impressive. But with that being said, if he fights like that against Jermel Charlo, he is getting knocked out. And it's gonna be very bad, okay? I'm gonna expect him to box against Jamar Jamel a little bit. Um, there is a chance of him winning. I'd say it's very slim because if I were to look at the facts, I would be like, okay, Jamel is slightly older. He, the second Castano fight, he looked amazing. The first one, he didn't look too great, you know? But regardless, it was still a draw. So you can't even say it was a loss. So he, if, if I got to look at the second fight and I also, I got to look at the, inactivity yeah, he's a bit a little inactive he has some injuries he's getting older so yes there are a little 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 hiccups here and there that i could say i wouldn't like completely disregard tim but i don't know man i'm just i'm done doubting charlo man he's 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 giving me such entertaining fights and normally i hate saying this but for real for real for real the fans are gonna win when it comes to this fight with tim zoo Honestly, I wasn't too for it before. I saw Tim Zhu get knocked down. I was like, okay. I wasn't too impressed. But he's really started building it up. Doing better. Doing better. And even if he did get knocked down, like he showed he could fight through adversity. And he's going to need to fight through a lot of adversity if he's going to be fighting Jermel, the undisputed champion. So if I had to break it down sty stylistically wise, um, obviously Jermel's the choice. He's more experienced, he's more seasoned. And his last fight with Castaño, I'd say he even showed he's a better boxer. So if Tim Zhu comes out hot like he did against um, Ocambo, it, it's probably gonna be a short night. Um, who knows, he might, the thing is, he has a puncher's chance because he is a puncher. And he is a little bit unorthodox the way he be jumping in and shit. So, who knows? Maybe he get a lucky shot on Jermel. And it, it all depends on Jermel's, like, durability. Because Jermel does get hit. But he is called Iron Man for a reason. Because he does not get hurt. We saw a little bit of little bit of buckle against the Castaño fight. But, like, you know, he, he recovered, like, two seconds. You know, he's Iron Man. Like, he, he, he doesn't get hurt. He's very durable so that's one of the main things he has going for him he's a lot of power so if we're gonna make a prediction i'm gonna go with the undisputed champ i know i know it's not it's no special take here but i just have to go with this the undisputed champ i know tim got a lot of hype going around him listen man he hasn't fought nowhere near the caliber opponents that jermel has so I wouldn't say he's not ready, but if it comes to resume wise, he he does not fuck with Jermel. I'm gonna just be honest. And um, little wash like Tony Harrison, like a wash Tony Harrison, Ocambo, who Spence also be in one round as a tune up. <laughs> Th these aren't gonna really get you prepared. Obviously it's building hype and tension and a lot of people are more excited for it. I'm more excited for it. But if we're honest, Jamel's winning by knockout, most likely. If not decision, if not the rematch, he's gonna knock him out in the rematch because that's what Jamel do, you know? But um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. But 
Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.